All right, let's have a look at some Fenwick tree source code. I'm here in my GitHub repository. You can find it at this link, which I'll put in the description below at William slash data dash structures. And the Fenwick tree source code is right here under the Fenwick tree folder. So let's dive right in. I have it here local on my computer in my text editor. All right. So this source code is provided to you in Java, but it's really easy to translate it to any language you're working in. So I create a Fenwick tree class, which has two constructors. Uh, one that will create an empty Fenwick tree for a given size, and then you populate it yourself. And another one, which you give it an array of values like we saw in the last video and constructs the Fenwick tree in a linear time. So this is probably the constructor you want to use and not the other one, but I give you the option to use either or. So one thing that you guys should know is that the values array that you pass in, this thing needs to be one based. In the last video, I was hesitant on whether or not you have to go uh, less than or less than or equal to uh, the length of the array, and that's going to depend on whether your array is one-based or zero-based. Usually everything in the Fenwick tree is one-based, in which case it would be uh, less than if you're using uh, this as a length. All right, but other than that, so this is just the construction algorithm we saw, so just propagate the value to the parent, so that's right here, and ignore it if it's out of bounds. So pretty simple stuff. So this is probably one of the most interesting methods, it's the least significant bit method, and it's going to return the, the value of the least significant bit for some integer i. So this uh, bit magic right here essentially isolates and returns the uh, least significant bit value. Something uh, that's a bit more readable is this right here, which uses Java's built-in method to find the least significant bit. However, using a uh, raw bit manipulation like this without an additional function call will be faster. Okay, so the prefix sums, this is something we covered in the first video which allows you to compute the prefix sum from uh, 1 to i, both inclusive. And all this is being done one-based. So this would do the cascading down that we talked about. So, so start with the sum equal to 0, and add the values at the indices you hit along the way while you're cascading down. And this line, line 55, is equivalent to i minus equal the least significant bit of i, which is a lot more readable than uh, this crazy bit manipulation, which essentially just clears that bit. But you want to use as much bit manipulation as you can to keep your Fenwick tree fast, even though it's already really, really fast. But the more bit manipulation you use, the uh, less operation or machine level operations you're going to do, and so your program is going to be so much faster. Okay, if you want to find the sum between i and j inclusive, then we can call the prefix sum method uh, right here and just essentially get the differences. So that's easy. So adding, so this is if you want to do a point update at position i and add k to it. So k can be positive or negative, that doesn't really matter. So what you're going to do is, for i, you're going to update everyone who's responsible for you. So all the ranges that are responsible for you. And for each of those, you're going to add the constant k. And then you're going to propagate up to your parent by saying i equals i plus the least significant bit. And you're going to do that until you're still within the tree at some valid index. And this additional method I added for fun is if you want to set the index i to be equal to k. 
this might sometimes be useful so just get the value at i so i to i and then call the add method so pretty simple stuff now as you see this is um, what 80 80 ish lines and half of it is comments so this is a really simple and yet extremely fast data structure guys thanks a lot for watching hit the like button subscribe if you learned something and i'll catch you in the next data structure i cover or if you have any suggestions i'm also open to those see you next time